Many know of the God of the universe and the great works he has done, but few are willing to know him personally as their father. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ with the mind of Christ and a firm determination to get to know God personally or more fully, and we read the book of Daniel in the Bible, we run into a character who was very principled. We find in chapter 1, verse 8, that Daniel determined in his heart to not defile himself by eating and drinking from the king's table. Instead, he resolved to eat nothing but vegetables. In other words, he may have been brought unwillingly into the king into King Nebuchadnezzar's palace, but he was not going to be of the palace. Much like us who are in the world, but resolve not to be of the world. Daniel knew the truth of this later written verse in 1 John 2.15. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If someone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. In return for Daniel's loyalty to God, verse 17, God gave Daniel knowledge and skill in all kinds of learning and wisdom. He also had understanding in all kinds of visions and dreams. Verse 19 through 20, he and his three friends found favor with the king Nebuchadnezzar. In fact, the king thought they were ten times better than all his other advisors. God was preparing Daniel for an opportunity to witness to the king by revealing the meaning behind the king's nightmare when no one else could. Instead of using the opportunity for his own gain, Daniel, Daniel privately gave God all the glory, saying to in Dan, in Daniel 2, verses 20 through 21, Blessed be the name of God forever, for wisdom and might are his. God changes the times and seasons. He removes kings and sets up kings. He gives wisdom and knowledge, verse 22. God reveals the deep and secret things, for he knows what is hidden in the darkness, for for light dwells with him. In the secret place, Daniel gave God praise, for for he knew God as the God of his fathers, who gave Daniel wisdom and might and the interpretation of the king's nightmare. Then publicly... Daniel acknowledged it was not him who gave who uh, came up with this on his own chapter 228 there is a god in heaven who reveals secrets he is the one who gave the king the dream of how things will be in the latter days god used daniel to help the king understand the thoughts of his own heart and mind the king replied daniel your god is the god of gods and lord of kings words of encouragement Sometimes signs and wonders from heaven are not enough to bring someone to salvation. The king, while though impressed, uh, and then again impressed at the miracle of the fiery hot furnace in Daniel three seventeen through eighteen, he came to know God as being Daniel's God, but never committed to knowing Him as his own. Have a great day.